Hey everyone, it's Jake from Westcott, and today we're going to go over how to convert a TTL exposure to manual on your FJX trigger. A TTL to manual conversion is beneficial when you want a quick, accurate exposure that doesn't shift from shot to shot. This is a common issue with TTL, especially when subjects have a drastic change in clothing color. This can often cause TTL to either overexpose or underexpose the image. For example, when photographing a group photo of a bride and her bridesmaid, the TTL exposure could be spot on. But when it comes time to photograph the group photo of the groom and his groomsmen in the same spot, the exposure could have a large shift, causing the image to be overexposed. So in theory, if the photographer, when taking the TTL exposure of the bride and the bridesmaids, was happy with his exposure, they could convert the TTL exposure to manual. This would ensure that the exposure is exactly the same for the groom and his groomsmen, creating a consistent light output. This is a valuable tool when photographing multiple subjects at the same location and distance, giving you consistent exposures throughout your shoot, making post-production a breeze. Let's go ahead and do a TTL to manual exposure. Let's start off with our FGX3M. The first thing that we're going to ensure is that the FGX3M is actually attached to the camera. This is always important no matter what kind of FGX trigger you have. Since we already have the FGX3M attached to our camera, let's go ahead and start. The first thing that we want to ensure is that Group A is set to TTL. Now we're going to go ahead and take an image in TTL. If you don't take an image first and do a TTL to manual conversion, the light will automatically default to 1. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and take an image. Now that we've taken our base exposure, we can go ahead and do a TTL to manual conversion. What we'll do is we'll simply go over to the group button right beside A and we'll press and hold. And once we press and hold, it'll go ahead and do the TTL to manual conversion. Now that we've locked in our manual exposure, we can go ahead and shoot and finish up our session and expect consistent results. Now let's go ahead and do the same exact thing with the FJX 2M. Now, the same rules apply. We're gonna go ahead and make sure our FJX2M is attached to our camera. And we're gonna ensure that is in TTL mode. So the first thing we're gonna do again is we're gonna take our exposure. Now that we've taken our TTL exposure, we can go ahead and now convert it to manual. So what we'll do is, if you are in the main menu of the FJX2M, we'll go ahead and press the menu and power button once. Now when we do that, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, it'll say TTL to M. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and press and hold that, and that will convert the TTL exposure to manual. And now we will have consistent results just like the FGX 3M and S, and we can now continue our shoot. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.